You don't need anything in my purse. There's no pen in my purse. There's a pen in my work bag. I don't know what's happening here. Figure out a way. Rochelle's on. Hi. Hey. I gotta go put my glasses in. I wanna make sure I got this. <laughs> We're just doing our testing right now to get it going. So hold on a second. Is Hi. Natalie by you? Check your network connection. I can leave myself unmuted so you can play with that. Maybe it's not going to work on the computer. It's not strong enough? What's in your hand? I mean, we still have 10 minutes. I know there's... Give me... In your pocket. Now it's sitting right down here. That's okay. Right. I don't want the TV on right now. I shut it off for a reason.
I'll drip off some wall here right now. Born. What do you think I am, Mom? I to show nobody. Rest again, do your stupid fucking yoga. Fucking bored. Harvey. difficulties I'm having to adjust on my phone here um, so I think I'm just gonna make sure I can get a good view of what we're doing um, I, since I'm on my phone I don't know that I have the capabilities to do everything that I'm used to on the computer. So you will want to mute yourself so that there's not a lot of feedback during the video. Oh. How do I mute myself? I don't know if I'm unmuted. Okay. I'm using um, my data here. We're going to try putting the phone right. in the window still. Oh, oh internet. <laughs> So if you haven't muted yourself, you'll want to do that. Um, depending where you are, it'll be in like the upper right hand corner. The things that you need. Um, are you need to be near a wall. And you need to be uh, near like a couch or a bed or a stool, something like that that you can prop your feet up on. It's not, it's not hot, it's not sticky. I don't want to sticky. No, please don't. Right, or from here. Uh, from here, right here. Let's see. I don't, on my phone I have to scroll through everybody, so I'm not seeing all of the things that I'm used to. So bear with me here. We still got two minutes before we'll get started. <laughs> <laughs> if you have hardwood floors, you'll want like a yoga mat or like a towel to put your um, knees on. I know people are messaging me, so I'm trying to pick up the phone here. I don't know how to mute people because I'm on my phone because it looks different. And I'm not seeing where to do that. So. Our desk is all the way in the back, so we don't need to worry about that. And lastly, can you give us 30, 30 seconds of your training? 10 degrees above. Before butts and guts starts. No, butts and guts are starting in one minute, so. I, I might have been just talking at you. He's trying to play. He's playing with his toys for a few minutes. He's kind of bored right now. How are you, how are you doing? What was, do you have any questions? Let's see here. 
Okay. Goodbye. I'm getting. <laughs> okay, I'm muting everybody now. Found that. So I think I was talking with my microphone off. <laughs> Um, so you need to be near a wall and um, like a couch or a bed, somewhere that you'll be able to prop your, oops, your feet up on. I feel like my microphone keeps going in and out. Can you guys hear me? Give me like a little thumbs up if you can hear me. Yes, yes, okay. It's so much different on my phone, I apologize. <laughs> Yay, we can hear you, hi friends. Okay, I have some music on, so if at any point when I walk back there, if you can't hear me, let me know. Um, I think the best way for me to communicate is via the little chat, it pops up on my screen. Um, you don't have to join with video. Um, we have our Zoom set up to just automatically record. Um, so if you don't want us to record you, you can turn your video off. Um, I can hear people ding dong and it ding dongs every time someone joins. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I, some people will probably keep joining as time goes on, but it is 11.01. So we're gonna get started here. See if I can make myself bigger, but oh well, you guys can see me. So we're gonna start with, I call this, so if you haven't met me before, I'm Natalie, I work at the Aviary. Um, we teach aerial fitness uh, in Minneapolis. We have a location here in Northeast. And then our other location is in Minnetonka. So what you see behind me is our aerial hammocks or slings. We're not gonna use those today, unfortunately. So um, this is uh, all ground workout. Um, if you're joining now, you need to be near a couch or like a bed and a wall. Um, we're gonna start without any equipment. We're gonna do a little warm up. I call this my gym class warm up because I used to be an elementary school teacher. So this might take you back a little bit. So we're gonna kind of move around. If you don't have a lot of space, um, you're just gonna kind of end up going in circles and that's okay. I probably will too so you can see me. All right, we're gonna start with a walking lunge. So I'm gonna start back here. You're gonna step forward leading with your heel. You can step back together and then you're gonna step with the other foot. We're gonna do 10 on each side. All right, here we go. Let's do them together. 10, nine, keep your abs pulled in tight. Eight, one, we turn around seven. Six. Try to keep your back knee off the floor, five. You can also just walk in place. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna take it into a backward walking lunge. So you're gonna step back and you're gonna press through the front, front foot, step back together. Other foot, together. We're gonna do 10 more, here we go. Step back together. Nine, eight, breathe, seven, step back, six, nice big step, five, four, step back, three, we got two more, two, Backward walking lunge, one more, woo! Here we go, okay, now we're gonna turn sideways. You're gonna squat down. We're gonna do a side shuffle. So whatever you need to do with your arms, we're gonna stay low, here we go. Those of you that are still joining, I'm on my phone, so my, my screen's a little bit smaller. Keep shuffling, about a 90 degree angle in those knees. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, keep 
Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stand on up. Make your way to the edge of your room. We're gonna do something called over the fence, under the fence. So you're gonna take your outside leg, you're gonna draw a big knee circle, step over your invisible fence. Take your back leg, knee circle, step over the fence. Big squat step. You're gonna do it again. So knee circle, knee circle, squat. You're gonna go back and forth across the room so your leading leg will switch. Knee circle, knee circle, squat. Keep your abs pulled in as you squat. Lift that knee as high as you can. Big step out for your squat. Breathe. We're gonna do one more each way. One more. Woo. Okay. We're gonna take it into what I call Frankenstein. Arms straight out in front of you. You're gonna walk and kick. The goal is to have a straight leg. You can also do this in place. What I want you to think about, you're gonna keep moving, is reaching your foot to your hand. So it can be lower or it can be higher, but none, none of that. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Nine, breathe, eight, yeah, seven. So even if you can't reach your hand, that's okay. Six, five, pull those abs in, four. Keep walking, three, <laughs> two, woo, one. All right, we're gonna do something silly. We're gonna skip. So you might end up just like skipping in a circle. All right, here we go. Get those knees up as high as you can. If this does not agree with you, you're gonna kind of march it out with high knees. Keep skipping. 10, I'm gonna skip over and turn up my music so I can hear it. Nine, eight, seven, six, Skipping, skipping, five, four. You can also skip in place, three, <laughs> two, one. All right, you're gonna come down onto your hands and knees, or your butt, I should say. For my friends that are just joining, we're doing bus and guts. So we're in our warm up here, you're gonna sit on your butt. We're doing a little crab walk, so. You're gonna come up into this little bridge and you're gonna crab walk. You can go forward. <laughs> the goal here is to not sit your butt on the floor. You wanna squeeze your booty, pull your abs in tight. We're walking. 10 seconds. Woo, nine. Eight, maybe you walk yourself in a circle. Seven. Six, maybe you go the other way, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna flip over. We're gonna bear crawl. I like to do this with my butt in the air. You're gonna bear crawl. You can go fast. You can go slow. Keep going. If this does not agree with you in any which way, Give me some alternating elbow to knee. Six more seconds. I left my water over there, hold on. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna come up to stand. Give me some wrist circles. We're gonna do um, inchworm. So you're gonna stand on up. 
you're, you can bend your knees, you're gonna grab the floor, you're gonna walk your hands out until you're in a plank, optional push up, and then you're gonna walk your feet into your hands, and then you're gonna restart. So what it looks like from the side, move with me, here we go, you're gonna walk those hands out, plank, you can always come onto your knees for a push up, and then you're gonna walk your feet back in, and then you're gonna walk your hands back out. Push up, feet back in, hands back out, keep going. You can take any part of this as a modification. You can work on toe touches, you can work on just your push up or just your plank. We're gonna do three more. So walking those hands out, keep your abs engaged, please, please. Again, push up if you want. Back in that counts as well, we got two more. Breathe, exhale. Walk those feet in. One more, out. And feet back. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. So, all right, feel a little warmer. Hopefully, because I got one more thing for you just to get your heart rate up just a little bit more. We're gonna do 10 burpees. So, my favorite way to do burpee, I call them curse flat burpees. We're gonna come curse flat and jump. So, we're gonna do 10, I'll give you a mod as we go. All right, here we go. Bring those hands down, curse that. You can take the jump out if that does not agree with you. We got nine. Eight. Three, seven. Woo, six, keep going, see if you're moving. At a different pace. Just keep moving. Four more. Three. Woo! Two big jumps. Last one. Okay. Grab a little water. So. <laughs> so butts and guts are similar to our aerial class called legs, abs, and ass. So we're gonna do legs then, even though we kind of just did that. We're gonna do more, we're gonna slow it down, focus a little bit more on form here. So you'll wanna walk over to couch, bed, wherever you can prop your foot up on. It's still possible without this added thing. I have that fancy dancy tool here. So, you're gonna put your left foot behind you. You want it about to your ankle, the lower part of your shin. Might have to hop out a little. When you lunge down, you want this knee to be about right over your ankle, not like here, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your knee. So abs hold it tight. We're gonna do 10 lunges, and then we're gonna add on. So here we go, we're gonna go down, and press through the back foot to lift. Nine, press through the heel to lift. If this is not working for you, you can take your foot out for eight. This allows you to get a little more depth. Seven. Whatever you need to do for balance. Six. Five. Pull those abs in. Four. That'll help with your balance. Three. On the bottom of this next one, we're gonna hold. Woo! Low. So option one is to hold, option two is to come into a calf raise. We're gonna do eight, or you're holding low. Here we go, eight, seven, six, 
Big pressure in the back leg. Five, four. Ooh, you got it, three. Push, two. One, now you're going to come. We're going to do ours. We're going to do five more lunges on your um, toes. You're going to come up onto your toes. You're going to lunge down five. Again, if this does not work for you, you can keep your foot flat or take your back foot off. Big out. Get your rally in three, two, one. Woo, okay, so that was just one side. We have to do the other side. Shake it out for a sec. Okay, so we got our left foot on. Now we're gonna put our right foot back behind us. <laughs> Get your belly. <laughs> you can see I'm not immune to any of this. It is. It's challenging. Oh, okay. Ten regular lunges. Here we go. Woo! Ten. Breathe. Nine. Exhale as you press. Eight. Seven. Make sure this front foot is nice and flat. Six, five, four, three, and remember what comes next. We got two, one, hold low. You can stay low or cap race for eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, maybe no hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Five more lunges. Whoops. On your toes. Oh, I want to grab onto the fabric so bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five. Four. Or again, your foot is flat. Three. Two. One. Okay. That's the first part of leg. Get some water. We're gonna take it into a different kind of lunge. Oh, nice little breaths, okay. Again, there's mods for this too. We're gonna do side lunges. Yay! Okay, start walking to read a little message. Okay, so you're gonna get, it doesn't matter which side, I have my left foot on. Your couch might be higher or lower. So if it doesn't work with your flexibility, you can put your foot on the floor. Your standing foot is slightly turned out. You're gonna do, a side lunge. So give it a shot. If that does not work, both feet turn forwards and you're going to lunge towards one side. You're still keeping that knee over your ankle. We're going to do pretty much the same thing that we just did. So 10, eight raises, and then five more with the raise. Then three, two, one, here we go. Ten. Nine, whatever you need to do with your arms. Eight. I'm praying. Oh. Seven. Six. If you can go a little lower, maybe you try that. Five. Press through this heel. Or you're here. Four. Three. On this last one, hold low. Again, you can stay or you're gonna calf raise. Here we go. Eight, abs pulled in, seven, six, five, or this is what you look like. You're here, four, or you're holding. Three, two, one. Now we got five, 
in your like releve if you're a dancer. Three, two, one, come down on your toes if you can. Four, yeah, you got it. Three, catch your balance if you wobble. Two, Ooh, one. Okay, I'm gonna slide my bent over so I'm not turning my back to you. We're gonna do the other side. So your other foot is on the bench. Same thing, or it's on the floor. Three, two, one, here we go, 10. I like to have this knee pointed up. Nine, little lower, eight. Maybe you have to adjust your feet. Seven, breathe, six. You got it, five. Four, it's also a nice stretch here. Three, little lower, two, oh yeah. One more hold. Hold it or cap raise. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five. You got it. Four. I'm pressing down real hard through that foot. Three, two, one. You're going to come up on your toes. We got five more. Get your balance. Here we go. Five. Squeeze. Oh, yeah. Four. Ah. Three. Two, ah, last one, last one. Yeah. Okay, that's it for the couch. But we're not done yet. I like to do giant sections. So, we're going to do some surrenders. You can hold on to something, but try not to. You're gonna come. Down onto your knees. When you step up, you want to try to keep your legs as is. And then you're going to step back down. So if you need to hold on to something, you can. Here we go. And alternate the leading leg. So abs are pulled in tight. Press, press. Otherwise, if this isn't working for you, you can just work on standing all the way up. But don't worry, for my friends that need something more difficult, I got it for you. We're gonna do five more. What you can add on this time is up, up, jump, back down. Five more. Five. Ooh, you got it. Four. Stay low. Three. Exhale as you jump. Two. One more. And then I got one more thing for you. For you, what I call squat wiggles. James called them squat wobbles. You're gonna start barrel, legs together. You're gonna sit in a squat. And you're gonna wiggle. So you're gonna wiggle your feet out. Again, you can hold on to something if needed. Ready, go. We're gonna go for 10 more seconds. 10, breathe, nine. You can take a little rest in your sumo, eight, seven, you got it. Six, Woo, five, four, keep moving, keep moving, three, Woo, two, ah, one. If you want to take a little stretch here or a forward fold. Oh, you got it, okay. Get some water. We're gonna, so we did our leg section. Now we're gonna do Abs. Oh, sorry. Did, I think people that joined didn't get muted. Let me re-mute everybody here. 
I can't hear anything, so. Okay. Everyone should be muted. I'm definitely dripping sweat here. I'm gonna shift you over. Um, we're gonna try something crazy. Uh, it might <laughs> work for you guys, it might not, but I think it would be kind of fun. So I'm gonna move you guys over to the wall. So you're gonna walk over to your wall. We're gonna do some plank stuff. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff on the wall. If it doesn't work for you, then I'm gonna show you other options after this. So you're gonna come up to the wall. We're gonna do a plank with our feet on the wall. So you can do this on your elbows or your hands. The goal is to get your body in line. <laughs> so right now that's too high. So I have to walk my hands up and walk my feet down. And I am pressing really hard through my hands. So give it a shot or you can try on your elbow. So it's probably too high. And I'm pressing through my shoulders and my elbows to drive my feet into the wall. I want you to find elbows or hands, or you can just be on the floor. We're gonna do a 10 second hold, and then we're gonna do something else from here. In three, two, <laughs> one, we're gonna hold, squeeze your butt, Make sure you're not dipping down. I'd rather have your butt a little higher. Eight, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one. The next thing is gonna be a mountain climber. So you can do this on your hands or elbows, hands or elbows, feet on the wall, or feet on the ground. Of course, we're gonna do slow ones. So wherever you need to be, get your feet back on the wall or back on the floor. You can also do this on your fist. It might be a little harder to balance, but that'll protect your wrist. All right, here we go in three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. If you fall down, that's okay, five. Restart, four, three, Two, one. Woo! Okay. Now we're gonna do a side plank on each side. So same idea, it can be on your hand or your elbow. I'm gonna readjust this just slightly. This is our pretty wing wall. If you ever come in, you can take a cute little picture by it. All right, so you're gonna kind of be body length away. One tiny scoot in, plant your foot. You can use this hand to stabilize. Give it a shot. See, I don't know, this is harder on the side. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> or you're on the ground. We're gonna hold 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so you did one side. Now you have to flip over and do the other side. I'm. Okay. Yeah, if you don't have a wall, um, I thought I, I guess I didn't clarify if you don't have a wall, uh, but if it's too hard, then you can do regular planks with your feet on the ground. So other side. 10 seconds, here we go. Plank in, 10, nine. You can be regular plank, eight. You can have a hand down or a knee down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. How are we doing? We got some more ab stuff left. 
I'm gonna check the time here. Oh, we're doing great, we're doing great. I need some more water, still a human. Okay. We are going to come down onto our hands and knees. We're gonna do some called, we did a bear crawl earlier. We're gonna do a bear hold. And then we're gonna add on. We're gonna do something silly down here too. So, when you're on your hands and knees, you want your shoulders stacked over your elbows. You don't wanna be, I call this nasty butt. You want your back flat, so abs are pulled in. You're gonna tuck your toes. Knees are a little wider than your hips. You're gonna lift the knees just off the floor. So not here, but knees hovering like two inches off the ground. All right, meet me here, and then we're gonna hold. Here we go, five. Oh, I might start at 10. We're starting at 10, nine, eight, seven. If this is not working for you, you can hold. Uh, knee plank, four, three, two, one. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees, and toes in this position. I think of my best ideas in the middle of the night, so that's where this one came from. If I do something similar, you're gonna go head, head, shoulders, knees, and <laughs> All right, give it a shot. So you're gonna go slow, you're gonna tap head, head, opposite shoulder, tap shoulder, knees, and so we're gonna do that two more times. Um, if you need a lot, you can be in your low plank on your knees, same deal. Two more times, here we go. Bear hold, head. You can think shoulders, knees, and toes. Reach, reach one more time. We're not doing the real side. Here we go. Hands under your shoulders, head. Shoulders, knees, reach, toes. Ah. Okay, we got one more thing from down here for some abs. I know this is also burning out your legs, probably your quads. We're gonna come back to tabletop. This one you can do on your face just fine if your wrists are sensitive. You're gonna take your right leg. So again, my back is flat, my abs are pulled in. You're gonna lightly squeezing your butt. You're gonna press through the top of your foot and your shin ankle. You're gonna lift. And tuck knee to nose. We're gonna do eight on each side. You can take out the lift if needed. All right, here we go. Right leg, booty lift. Press into your hands, squeeze eight. Without the lift, it looks like this seven, six, squeeze, five. You can do this on your fist. Four. Squeeze the button. Three. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. One. Okay. Now we're gonna do that on the other side. Yeah, I like to be even. Left leg. Three. Two. One, six, and a left, really try to get that knee towards your nose. Seven, again, you can call it on the lift. Squeeze six, squeeze five, in, four, that lift through the glutes, three, Two last one, nice and strong. Here we go. Squeeze. Lift. Woo! Your arms are probably feeling it too. That's good. Okay. Take a little water break. 
breathe. We're gonna do some, my nose got sweat dripping down my face. We're gonna do some butt stuff next. We're gonna work the booty. Uh, there's two sides, so we're gonna, it's gonna be a lot. You, and you got it. Okay, hit the mark. Um, we're gonna pretty much do everything kneeling. So, yeah, you kick your butt. I'm totally dripping sweat. Um, so if you are on a hardwood floor or you need extra padding to put under your knees, please do so. Okay, check in. Everyone's doing good, okay. So we're gonna start on our hands and knees again. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a doggy cake. So we're in this tabletop position, so I don't wanna drop my belly button down. The whole time I wanna try to keep my back flat. You can always take a wider hand stand for bailing. We're gonna do a donkey kick, so it's similar to the first the movement we just did. We're gonna flex your foot, and you're gonna drive your heel up to the ceiling, not open. It might not go as high as we're trying to get that open. Yeah, we're gonna do a donkey kick. Okay, so we're gonna do our Seven. So it's more about your glute engagement and 
not how high you can get it. Six, five, four, three, two, on this last one, keep it high. And we're gonna pulse it. So it's high, every time you get it a little higher. Eight more seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, keep it high, two, one, from here. You're gonna, hey yeah, karate kick. You're in your fire hydrant and you're gonna kick. Like you're trying to kick the wall in front of you. We got 10 of those. Here we go, lift, kick, 10, nine, Eight. Hiya, seven. Bonus points, point your toes. Six. Woo, five. Four. If you're mad at me, like, talk. Kick, pretend you're kicking me in the face. Three. Two. One. Now drop it down. We got two more things on this side, then we're going to do all this on the other side. So your leg is straight out. Depending on your flexibility, if you can, you want to try to get your foot straight out from your hip. Yeah. And you're going to lift. We're going to do 10 of those. Three, two, one. And then 10. My knee is pointed forward. Nine, eight. You got it. Seven. Breathe. Six. Exhale on the hard part. Five. Breathe four. Super straight leg. Three, even if it doesn't go as high. Two. One. You have one more thing on this side. The leg is going to stay straight. You're going to try to lift it far and far forward. We're going to do rainbows. You're going to lift it back and then up and over. So it's like over your invisible fence again. Okay, here we go. We're going to do 10, 9, 8. Don't make it easy on me. All right, here we go. Lift up and over 10. Bring it back. 9, 8, 7 is high as you can. Maybe it looks like this. 6, that's okay. 5, 4, 3, yeah, two, one, oh, okay, shake it out, we can do that on the other side. How we doing, how we doing, yeah. Okay, all the butt stuff, my friends. We got about eight minutes, so we'll finish this side. Um, I'll give you some stretches, I'll talk at you for a hot second at the end, so we got one more side, and then you made it through. Butts and guts. Okay, kneeling down. Um, I don't know if I said right or left leg. It's gonna be the other side. I'm on my left leg if you were with me. We're gonna start in our fire hydrant. So remember, don't drop your belly down, try to keep your abs open. I think about like closing my rib cage. That helps me remember. Okay, fire hydrant, hip stays, square to the ground, here we go. 10, nine, this butt cheek is probably sore from trying to stabilize. Six, five, again, you can take a wider stance with your hands. Four, absolutely in three, two on this last one, keep your legs high, and close. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, lift it higher, 4, I know you can, 3, 2, 1, now we've got our karate kicks, we're going to go right into it, here we go, karate kick, 10, 9, hi-ya, 8, you got it, 7, 6, breathe, 5, keep that leg high, 4, try to straighten it out all the way, 3, Two, one, keep it straight, drop it down. We've got 10 leg lifts. Here we go, lifting 10, nine, breathe eight, breathe seven. You got it, six, five, four, abs are tight, three, Breathe, two, one. Slide that foot forward, we got 10 rainbows. Three, two, one, go, 10. Nine, breathe, eight, 
we made it. I'm gonna move you guys down just a little bit. So, I was going to be all fancy and um, attach a little document for you to read about the aviary. However, um, if you joined in a little bit late, we had some technical difficulties, so I had to do this on my phone. I'm just walking over to turn my music down. Speaking of music, if you could hear what I was listening to, I'm going to show it. This is, oh, it's probably backwards. Never mind. My throwback punk playlist by Natalie Jean. It's one of my favorites. I think everyone that comes to work out here loves it too. Um, otherwise, what's going on today? See if I So with Sweat Minnesota, I'm going to turn you around as I talk. Um, feel free to leave. Um, so if you want to see it, huh? butterfly will probably feel real good. Sorry, that was an interesting shot there. Um, so if you miss it, we are the Aviary Aerial Fitness. So we're in Northeast Minneapolis and Minnetonka. We have two studios. Our website here. It, flyfitfun.com has all of the information about our virtual membership. Um, follow us on Instagram, the Aviary MN, and then I'm Fly with Nat, N A T T, so I'm Natalie. Um, so right now we're offering virtual memberships, kind of like everyone else. It's probably really blurry. Um, so between 49 and 99, or you can do a single drop-in class. Um, we're also doing some free Instagram live classes as well. Um, so if you follow the aviary, you'll see kind of all our announcements for that. Um, so our classes right now are conditioning. So like what you just saw, this is one of our classes that I teach on Thursdays. We do flexibility. Um, we even have a dance class. So Angela teaches that, uh, super fun. Um, I'm going to turn you back on me. So if you follow us on Instagram and you want me to send this to you, I can absolutely do that. Um, today, um, tag sweat. So it's sweat underscore Minnesota and the aviary. We're giving, they're doing a lot of giveaways today. I'm not hundred percent positive on how that's all working. Um, but we're giving away a virtual membership. Um, we're also doing a drawing through our own studio. If you donate $25, you automatically get entered to win a year, like a normal membership. So when we open back up, get all the aerial and bungee classes you can handle. So we do aerial hammock, Lyra. Um, so the donation thing is also on our website. Otherwise, for today, that the Avery MN sweat underscore Minnesota. I suppose I could probably type some of this into the everyone i'm gonna type this sorry you're probably looking right at my face aviary is our instagram yes i'm so excited i'm so excited to do this back in person this is a little different than what we're used to but we're i keep saying um all of this conditioning is helping with our balance our core strength which is directly going to apply to um aerial we have all levels of aerial classes, so it doesn't matter if you've never done it before. It's for everybody. Um, but yeah, I can stick around for a few more minutes. I have nothing to do today, so if you have any questions, you can message me. Oh, I'll put my actual Instagram in here, too. I forgot mine. <laughs> Chat. So I, I'm, oops, everyone. And then mine, if you have any questions, it's fly with Nat. I'm going to send that in the chat here. There's so much going on. The website is always the best resource. Um, Sweat Minnesota also has a website too. Um, but yeah, we got a lot going on. And I'm super, super excited you guys could join me today. I have a random thought. I don't know how many people are left on here. Um, if you wanted to see what it actually looks like to do an aerial trick, I'll give you a little demo because this is different. We're different than every other studio because who has this? 
we also have aerial yoga, but we are aerial fitness based. We are fitness based. So we're taking everything that we just did applies to the air. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna do a trick for you. I'll show you something like you would see in class and then I'll show you like something fun. Feel free to stay or go. If you need anything, follow us on Instagram. So in every intro class, you learn, holy God, here we go. There's a lot of fabric. You learn how to go upside down. Woo this is called straddle back. It feels really good on the back. I think it does. I lost the phone. <laughs> um, another thing you'll learn is something called sumo. This is where all this upper body and core strength, you're doing a big sit up and you're doing a big pull. Yeah! So pretty. An advanced intermediate level progression that you would learn from here is called violent song. See if you can guess why it's called that. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> so those are things we do teach in class. <laughs> um, the first trick you saw is something everyone learns and is very, very successful at. <laughs> uh, there's so many things, so it's super, I, someone once told me I was biased, but this is, this is my home, this is my family, I love it so much. I started out as a student too, I've um, been doing this for over four years now, teaching for two years, so it's a journey. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Kristen! Yeah, I'm just looking out here. Yay, do a trick. <laughs> we like to laugh and be silly here. Um, if you uh, join our virtual membership, we're also planning to do like virtual happy hours, things like that. We have a really strong community um, and we, we just love everyone that comes in our doors. So we can't wait to open back up and welcome some new people. So I'll just kind of let you guys all leave as you would like. Um, I'm gonna do like, if you need to stretch a little bit, these are some of my favorites, is just to kind of like press on the knees. Or if you have any questions, you can still chat me. Yay, thank you guys so much for coming. Tag us on your stuff. Message us with questions. We're here for you. Maybe a little. If you're still stretching a little straddle stretch, that might feel good. Or a little side body action. We do lots of stretching. All flexibility levels. We got something for everybody. Woo! And then I know Ohm Brewer, Brewers, I think I'm saying that right, is doing a little like happy hour at 12. Um, I believe theirs is on Facebook Live like most people. Um, so tune on into them and have a little brewski or whatever or some water. I think they're gonna do some more stretching to cool it down if you've been working out all morning. <laughs> okay, friends, I'm gonna see here. I'm gonna end the meeting, maybe. There it is, okay. So, bye everyone, thank you again. It was, I'm so excited that you all could join me.